Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a few quizzes about presidents and see what we can learn and what we already know. So this quiz is pretty straightforward. We have to decide if it was George Washington, George W. Bush, so that is the younger, or both or neither. Let's jump right in. So W. Bush, I don't think he fought in a war, but I do think he was in the Texas National Guard, but I'm just going to go with Washington was born north of the Mason-Dixon line. So, I assume George Washington was. And I also think Bush was born in... I'm going to guess he was born in, like, Connecticut, so I'm going to go with both. Had biological children. I don't believe George Washington did. He had a... Well, did he, him and Martha? Well, I know George W. Bush did. He had a... Laura Bush, I think. Or that might have been his wife. Regardless, I know Bush did. Washington. Because I know there's some story about Washington's daughter or stepdaughter or something. Or granddaughter being married to General Lee. Or Jefferson Davis or something like that. I can't get hung up on that one. I'm going to go with Bush and think that he had stepchildren. Lived in the White House. It wasn't built for Washington. Made an official trip to Cuba. I don't think that was either of them. Had only one vice president. I'll go with, uh... I'll go with both of them. I think Washington only had Adams. And Bush only had Dick Cheney. Unless Bush had a second. I don't know. Was a Freemason. Washington. I don't know if Bush was, but I know Washington was. Had a net worth over $10 million. Hmm. Well, Washington was a hemp farmer. But I'm going to go with both. Had a relative who also served as U.S. president. That would just be Bush, his father. Vice president became president after him. Washington. Was elected from a southern state. You know what? Now that I think about it, the Mason-Dixon might have been... Uh, North of Virginia, so I'm just going to go back up there and change that to just Bush. Because I think they were both elected from a southern state. Bush was elected from Texas and Washington from Virginia, I believe. Went to an Ivy League school. Hmm. I'll go with Bush, but I don't know anything about Washington's education. Was born outside of the U.S. That would be neither. Had more than seven Supreme Court nominations. Neither. I feel like that's a ton. And served two full terms. That would be both. So we only missed one. Which one did we miss? And let's see if there's any fun facts here. Bush served in the Air National Guard but never fought. I'm glad I went up there and changed that. Washington was born in Virginia while Bush was born in Connecticut. So I was right about that one. Bush had two biological children. Washington was a step-parent to his wife's children. Neither man ever journeyed to Cuba while president. Dick Cheney was a vice president. Washington was Adams. George Washington was a Freemason. The most recent Freemason was Ford. George Bush is $47 million. And George Washington was over $700 million adjusted for inflation. That's really interesting. Bush's father, Vice President Adams, check, check. Both Texas and Virginia are part of the American South. Okay, so this makes sense. Since he was able to fill a completely empty court, Washington granted a record 10 Supreme Court nominations. I wasn't sure if they had it then at the same level we do now. Regardless, we did really good on this quiz. We only missed one. And let's jump into the next presidential quiz. All right, here's quiz number two, and this is the presidential scramble. So we have to uh, basically unscramble the name and go from there. This is a little bit of a word game here, too, so hopefully I do good. Of course, we're going to start with Washington. Is this McKinley? Ooh, a V. Is this Cleveland? CTO. I'm going to go back to that one. R-M-F. 
Fillmore. This would be Bush. R A G E N Reagan. No. Ray R E A G E N. How do you spell Reagan? Reagan. There we go. I just can't spell. This is Harding. T R. I don't know that one. Hoover. Adams. Wow, this timer is short. Monroe. Nope. Missing that one. Don't know what happened there. We got Polk. Oh no. Polk Grant. Oh man, this was hard. Arthur Johnson, Kennedy, Trump. What do we miss? Clinton, Carter, Truman, and Madison. Wow, that was hard. You know what? This is random every time, so I'm going to give myself one more shot here. Let's just jump in. Jefferson, Bush, Ford, Harding, T.H., I don't know, Taft, C, G, D, L, O, Coolidge, Polk, Clinton, no. Clinton, no, okay, we'll go back to that one too. This is Truman, Tyler, Grant, Taylor, Nixon, Trump, Kennedy, Hoover, is this McKinley, McKinley, um, Adams, oh man, this plays tricks on your mind when you're trying to type Johnson, who is this, this is Arthur, Arthur, and the last one, no, C-N-N-L-L, -L. Lincoln, Link, there we go. Second attempt, much better. I just had to get in the groove. All right, let's move on to the next quiz. Here's a fun little presidential quiz. Plato presidents. Whoever sculpted these, I think it was, where does it say here? The quiz is Doug28. He did an incredible job. So let's jump right in. We have Roosevelt, Lincoln, Lincoln, Obama. Is this Taft, a bigger fella? You can see it with the second chin there. Is this, it looks like Castro to me, but I don't know. Adams. Who is this one? Is this Ford? No. Not certain. This is Trump, of course. Washington. Jackson. He did it wonderful on that hair with Jackson. Is this Nixon? And Kennedy? Okay, so we've got two left here. This is Grant, I think. I wouldn't necessarily recognize right off the bat, but the military uniform helped. And I have no idea who this is. Um, Johnson? Carter, Ford, Reagan, there we go. So, I wasn't certain about Reagan, but this these were some very good sculptures. And again, shout out to Doug28 for making them. All right, let's jump into the final presidential quiz. If you guys are liking this, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like. Maybe a comment below on what I should do next. And here's a fun quiz to end things off with. U.S. presidential last names as baby names. The 10 most common presidential last names that were used as baby names in the U.S. in 2019. Let's jump right in. So I assume with this picture, Carter's going to have to be one of them. Maybe Bush, Ford. That is Carter, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Reagan. Um, more females use that one. 
Surely it's not Trump. Okay, you just have to check Arthur. Wow, I would have expected that to be higher. Maybe Adam, if they're counting. Okay. Jefferson, no. Clinton. I feel like a lot of these names would have been pretty good older. Lincoln. Who else? Maybe Taft. That's not a bad name. Oh, oh Tyler. Duh. And Taylor. Yet again, more women named Taylor. All right, we're missing the biggest one. What am I thinking here? Ford Grant probably makes the list. No, Grant's a great first name. Jackson? Jackson? What about Shirley Johnson's not a first name? Hmm. Harrison? William Henry Harrison? What other? We're missing two, and they're mainly women's names. Hayes? No. Truman? Lincoln? Monroe? That'd be kind of a weird name for a girl. Madison, James Madison, and we're missing one more. Who is it? Kennedy. Yeah, 67%. I feel like there's quite a few there that if they would have taken this information from like 1990, 1980, there would have been a lot different answers. But anyways, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to toss one more quiz in here just because I found it and couldn't resist myself. U.S. presidents with facial hair by picture. All right, so we're going to have Lincoln, of course, is the most recognizable. Then down there at the bottom, looking crazy, is Van Buren. We have Quincy Adams, Roosevelt, Grant. Is that Arthur? No, I thought this was Arthur. Is this Buchanan? No, McKinley. No, okay, let me jump back into the ones I'm going to recognize here. Is there Garfield? Okay, that's Garfield. I thought this was Garfield. We've got a distinguished-looking gentleman down here and a big fella here. Is that Taft? Okay. Who do we have left? One of those Cleveland? Yep. He was the only president to serve two non-sequential -sequ terms. And we've got two left. I think we should bring back facial hair in the Oval Office. I'd like to see a gentleman sporting something like this or something like Van Buren. All right, and these last two. Is that, is one of them, is the bottom right Fillmore? No. Hmm, yeah, I just don't know. Hayes and Harrison. Well, regardless, these are a bunch of very distinguished-looking gentlemen. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching the quizzes.